welcome. I'm Alio. Today, let's continue on talking about operations. So here's a trick question: What is an operation? Hmm? Oh, I know. An operation is a way to solve a math problem, like addition, subtraction. Multiplication and division. Today we'll talk about multiplication and division. First, let's do a multiplication word problem. Alil bought three sets of pencils. Each set has five pencils. How many pencils does she have in total? So before we solve this question. There are some very, very, very important informations in this word problem. It is three and five, and of course the question: How many pencils does she have in total? Now let's solve this question. We know that Alil bought three sets of pencils, and each set has five pencils. So here is one, two, three, four, five. If a question asks you to put equal groups of things together, it is an multiplication problem or word problem. Now let's multiply three times five. Then the dun equals fifteen. So Alil has fifteen pencils in total. In this word problem, there is one keyword. The keyword is in total. There are other keywords like in total, altogether, join, and times. Don't they look similar to the addition keywords? Yeah, they do. So when you see these keywords, you may use multiplication to figure out the word problem or question. Now let's look at division. Alil has fifteen pencils. She wants to share them with four other friends. How many pencils can each kid have? In this question, there are some very important information. The first one is fifteen, and the second one is four. And of course, the question: How many pencils can each kid have? Here are fifteen pencils, and we want to share it with five friends. It's not four friends, or else you're gonna miss me, and I'm gonna do like this. Wah 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 wah. Okay, so back to the question. When a question asks you how many groups of things or how many things in each group, it is an division problem. So now let's divide. Fifteen divided by five equals dun dun three. So each kid has three pencils like this. So it is equal. In this problem, there are two very important keywords. They are share and each. There are other keywords like split. Divide how many groups? How many in each group? So when you see these keywords, you may use division to figure out the word problem, yeah, or question. <laughs> Here are some tips or things you have to do to solve a problem. First of all, you need to understand the problem, and second of all, you need a plan to solve the problem. Like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And next, you need to solve the question. Well, if you don't solve the question, you don't know the answer. And last of all, you need to check your answer. If you don't check it, you'll be like, "Oh, I did it wrong." So check just means. Well, double checking it or double doing it again. Did you think this was fun? I did. Oh, 
Don't forget to subscribe.